it says here that, 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 that Pharaoh had a disturbing dream. I had a dream the other night where somebody broke in our house. This is true, y'all. I'm sure, sure. Somebody broke in our house and stole everything we had in the house. So, I mean, every week, I walked in the house, wasn't, a, wasn't nothing there. I still don't know what that meant. Hmm. Maybe I need to find Joseph in this city. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Right. What's going on there? I don't know. Right. But Pharaoh had a dream. And Pharaoh had people around him yeah. that were supposedly gifted. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yet the people that Pharaoh had around him were not gifted enough. And, and, and Joseph, because he, of his, uh, who he was, was in prison. You remember he got with the prison because mm -hmm. his master said he raped his wife. Because she tried to throw herself on him. Mm -hmm. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. She was aggressive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he wouldn't respond to it. And she lied on you know. Mm -hmm. See, when folk can't get you to do wrong, they'll tell lies about you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Huh? That's, that's why 1 Thessalonians 5.22 said, abstain from the appearance. Mm -hmm. right. Hello, y'all ain't going to help me. Right. Right. Yeah. It, oh, says, uh, it says abstain from the appearance of evil. Yeah, yeah. Something yeah. we have to just stay away from yes, it sir. because it don't yeah. look right. Yeah. 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 Amen. See, I don't care about what you said. I'm a man of God. You're a man of God. You're a woman of God. We're all of God. But the devil know who we are. Yeah. And sometimes the devil will put us in a situation that will make us vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Come on, come on. I, I know you're pious. I know you got all that faith. But don't play with fire because you will get burned. Fire do burn. Just because you can take your flame retarded, fire still burns. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hello. Hello. So, so Pharaoh had a dream and, and Joseph had a gift of interpreting dream that came from God. And so yeah. when Pharaoh had this dream, uh, the Bible said while Joseph was in, in prison, there were some guys that were with him. And he told them, when y'all get out of jail now, don't forget about me. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Don't forget about me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, try to help me get out. Yeah, right. you, know, you know, you can help folk and help folk. Yeah. And when it's time for you to be helped, yeah. folk are there for me. You're right. You're right. You're right. Some people have promised you the world. Yeah. And then yeah. when they get back on their feet, they ain't thinking about you. Yeah. Right. Folks are coming and borrow yeah. money from you, borrow stuff from you. They yeah. say, when I get on my feet, I'm going to do so and so. Come on, yeah. They'll get paid, and they'll, instead of going by your house, hello, somebody, they'll take the back alleyway. Yeah. Come on, Pastor. When they did something, they, they stopped by your house and blowing, and now they, they know you don't get up to eight, so they come by at six o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So they know they're going to see them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So it says here that 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 that, that he had a dream about uh, these. Uh, God was getting ready to do something. This, this is the thing that is smoking up the Pharaoh. What God is about to do, show up the Pharaoh. Behold, there comes seven years of plenty. Uh -huh. Now right. Pharaoh had a dream and he couldn't figure it out. Right. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh was a smart man. He had people around him that were gifted. He had the soothsayers and all these people that were gifted. And yet they couldn't figure it out. And, and just like he was troubled, uh, he was troubled because he couldn't figure it out. So one of the guys that was in the prison with him, remember that Joseph had this extraordinary gift. Yeah, right. So he said, well, let me, let me call on my friend Joseph to see. Now, when Pharaoh had this dream, it said, it says that there, and, and there it was, that word seven is, is a significant number. Why is seven a significant number? Because seven signifies what? Completion. Completion. So now, Pharaoh tells him the dream. He tells him, you know, I had this dream by cow. Hello, somebody. That didn't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. But what God was getting ready to do, God was getting ready to deal with Egypt. Mm -hmm. Just like he's dealing with us. Right. We are the Egypt of now. Amen. All this political stuff is going on. God is dealing with us. Amen. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Hello. Yeah. Not only is he dealing with us, he's punishing us. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he is. He's right. and, 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 and I hate to say this, y'all, but some things, I think some things coming up on the horizon that you just better be prepared for. Oh, know? yeah. It's some, it's some tra traumatic things going to happen. Huh? Especially right after this election or before this election, there's some things coming up, right? Amen. And so he says, now the dream that you had is about seven. First of all, seven is in your dream. Right. There's going to be seven years of good. Uh -huh. the, the, it talks about these cows being lean and thin. Uh -huh. uh, these are metaphors. Hello. Right. Uh, the, the, the fat cows, hello somebody, symbolize prosperity. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The, 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 the plenty, right. The thin cows, hello somebody, said there's going to be some famine coming. Uh -huh. All right. 
Right? right? Whether y'all realize or not, we're in the middle of a famine now. Yeah. 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 Now, some yeah. of us can't feel it because we still got a little money. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Some yeah. of us ain't feeling it because we still got a, our bank accounts are still fat. Yeah. Our, our mutual funds are still rolling. Hello, somebody. Yeah. We still get dividend checks. But there's some people out there, I'm telling y'all, that, yeah. that, that went from yeah. living in big houses yeah. Yeah. to living in cars. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's some people yeah. out here that went from yeah. buying $900 a week worth of grocery from standing in the line to get a box of food. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. telling you, there's yeah. a famine in the land. Yeah. Yeah. And the famine is here because God is sick and tired of our nonsense. Yeah. 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 God is sick and tired of our sinfulness. Yeah. Yeah. Sir. God is sick and tired of the fact that we have neglected Him and we're chasing after all these other gods. Mm. And he is a jealous God, yeah. and therefore yeah. he hits us where it hurts us the most yeah. in our pocket. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. Come on, y'all, come on. Yeah. You want to hurt a man, you can talk about him all day. You can talk about me all day, but when you start taking my money, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. You, yeah. 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 you can call me all the things you want to. Yeah. Don't make up the $100 dollars them Benjamins in my pocket. Come on, all right. Come on, yeah. Come on, yeah. Take them Benjamins out of my pocket. I'm going to have to get in line. Yes, sir. All right. So he said, the seven years, seven years of plenty, uh -huh. right? But then you're going to have seven years of famine, uh -huh. right? Right. Now, the best time to study for war is in the time of peace. Right. 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 Hello, hello. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, you're going to have seven good years. Right. Mm -hmm. But when that seven good years is over, yep. seven yeah. bad, bad years are coming. Year. Uh -huh. Okay? Joe, Joseph responded to his dream. He interpreted the dream by explaining two dreams in one meeting. Right. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, God gave Pharaoh two different dreams with the same message to emphasize the importance of this message. Right. Yeah. See, God speaks to you. Let me say that. Now, that, let me just say that. There is no new revelation. All right. Amen. All right. Let, All right. let me try to explain this to you. Because people say, well, uh, you know, I'm Bob the Revelator. There's only one revelation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As far as the church is concerned. One yeah, revelation. Right. Now, do God reveal to us on an individual basis thing? Yeah. Of course he does. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there is something to these dreams that we had. Y'all, there's no lie. I told Sister Dawson, I think I even told some of y'all in the church, I had a dream when a bomb went off. I had a dream, and about, I don't know, was it a month, Sister, uh, uh, Sister Dawson, somewhere? a month later they had that bomb, and I woke up one morning. I was dreaming about it and I was crying in my sleep and I woke up and sit up on the side and I couldn't figure out, it, it, I thought it was Donald Trump doing something with, with the nuclear, and seriously y'all, seriously, and about two or three weeks later, a bomb went off in Beirut. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I know I'm not lying because I told some people because it had disturbed me so it had me crying. When I woke up, my pillow was wet. Well, I had been crying in my sleep. Hello, somebody. And about two or three weeks later, the bomb went off in Beirut. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Dream God is still revealing us to us. And uh, some of these dreams that we have, these crazy, you know, crazy dreams. Hello, we call them crazy. But there's something to some of these dreams that we have. Yes, it is. Yeah. Huh? Now, I'm not here to prophesy. I'm not trying to tell y'all because uh, you had a dream. I'm not, I'm not Joseph. Amen. But I'm telling you, God still speaks yeah. to us. Yeah. Even in our dreams. Yeah. Sometimes God will show you things before he even happens. Yeah. Yeah. How many of y'all know that? Sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. sometimes, yeah. sometimes yeah. God will show you things even before they happen. Oh, yes, he will. Yes. According to, to Joseph, he says the prediction was that God was about to do something to Egypt. He says seven good cows, seven full grains, simplify seven years of plenty, right. economic prosperity mm -hmm. that Egypt was soon in joy. Right. Right? Right. right? See, if we do what God tells us to do, yes. live like God tells us to do, yes. he will give us prosperity. Y'all yeah. know that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, well. But if you don't do what he says do, yes. he'll hit you where it hurts you most. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, all the president's worried about, he's trying to get Wall Street back up. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's a constituent. Don't care about the poor man. They don't care about the disadvantaged, disenfranchised. All they want to do is get Wall Street back up. Because if they can get Wall Street up, their pocket's going to be fat. Now, while the poor keeps getting poor, I know somebody in this, in this situation, the rich have gotten richer. Warren Buffett has gotten richer. Zucker has gotten richer. Man runs Amazon, he has gotten richer while the poor is getting poor. All right. All right. 
This seven years of plenty would immediately be followed by seven years of extreme famine. Mm -hmm. Y'all know what a famine is? Yeah. Famine is when nothing ain't working. Mm -hmm. Amen. Famine is when the economy is hit the bottom. Yes, sir. Famine, famine is when folk are, are trying to find something to eat. Famine, how long somebody is when folk are trying to find a job and can't find no job? Famine is when there's no money to pay the bills. Uh -huh. Famine, famine is when, 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 when you can't keep your lights on and your water on and your gas. Some of y'all say, I don't know what you're talking about, Brown, because I, I ain't never experienced that. Well, I, I've been there. Come on, it ain't been right. recent. Back when I was, first got married, I knew what them pink notices was. Uh -huh. All right. Some of y'all don't know what that is. I, 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 I've seen some bill where it said if it ain't paid by October the so and so, that we're gonna cut it off. <laughs> some of y'all probably y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all probably don't know bills like that. Y'all y'all probably don't know what I'm talking about. Y'all 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 pretty rich folks, so y'all don't really know what y'all can't relate to what I'm talking about. Uh, when when your bill is supposed to be white and then they send it to you in the blue. And that's not because they celebrate with you. They're trying to let you know that this is earth. Yes, sir. That's a famine. When, when you can't make ends meet, that's a famine. So God said, I'm going to send seven good years and seven bad years. Yes. Because Joseph was able to exceed the expectations of the king's initial request because he had a gift. Yes. See, when the Lord is in your life, right. he'll give you favor. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Amen. Thank you. Amen. 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 He'll surround you with people yes. that can be a blessing to you. Yes. You'll walk into a situation and say, how in the world, I don't even have the talent. I don't have the, I don't have the know how. I don't have the education. How long, how long somebody, I, I don't know the know what. But God will put you in a situation Amen. that you don't even know you got in the business being in Amen. because he'll give you faith. Amen. Let me tell you what God has done for me. God has sent me to play. I have set preachers and people that were way up. I consider to be way up. And I said whatever, and I'd be wondering, how in the world did I get even invited? Right. Yes. But you know, I was smart enough to figure out if I would just keep my mouth shut. Amen. Because Amen. Right. I was out of my league. Right. That's how God blessed. I was out of my league, but didn't nobody know I was out of my league with me yeah. and God. Yeah. And, and, and I heard the Spirit say, just be quiet. Yeah. And don't say nothing. Yeah. And nobody will discover that you're out of your league because the first time you open your mouth, hello somebody, they're going to figure out you ain't supposed to be here. All right. Amen. All right now. Hello. When you got favor from God, He'll make that ordinarily will turn their back on you. He'll make them turn their face to you. When you have favor with God, you, you go down to the bank knowing you ain't supposed to get that car. Hello, somebody. I'm trying to make right. this stuff real. Knowing you don't qualify for that house, but you down there, you're praying because you got faith. What God did, Mr. So-and-so was supposed to process your law, but God let him be sick that day and let Mr. So-and-so because he more got a godly heart. So guess what? That man was sitting there because God is so ordained it that he would sit there. So now you got the approval that you wouldn't have never got. This lesson real. This is what's going on in this lesson. We can read this stuff, but how does it relate to where we are in life? Right. When you have favor with God, you can have a 500 credit. Right. 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 You in the house with somebody that should have had a thousand points with. Yeah. You have favor with you. Yeah. You open up doors that could not ever be opened. Because of that, he, he, he says, now Joseph, because you're such a smart man. And because you're such a wise man. Mm. See, wisdom comes from God. All right. Yes. All right. Y'all ain't saying that. Did y'all say Wisdom, say it out of your mouth. Say, wisdom, wisdom comes, comes from, God. from God. Now, you can go all, all day. You can read all the books you want to. You can get as much knowledge as you want. All yes. right. But when you go get some wisdom, you got to go to God. Right. And James said, if any man want to receive wisdom, let him ask of God. Right. And then he says, not only that, James said, God is not stingy. Yes. Right. He don't use that particular word. He says he's liberal, yes. which indicates that God is not stingy. Yes. If you want it, he'll give it to you. Yes. Now, let me tell you something. I, 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 I would love to, you know, I, I, I master degrees. I, I applaud masters, bachelors, all of that. That's yes. great to have. Yes. That's yeah, great to have. But you better have some wisdom. Amen. Now, mama, did, grandmama 
wasn't smart enough to, to know all of that. She, she didn't call it whip. She called it mother whip. Yeah. Some of you yeah. folks don't know what that means. That means common sense. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Some of us got a lot of book sense. We ain't got a bit of common sense. Yeah. We couldn't go over there and open up a can because we got to be able to look at it from a, from a engineering perspective. We got to, yeah. that's all it's done, just take a can open and ask about it. We're going to try to figure out where it is. And what, what, what is the length and the width and, 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 and all of that, the circumference and all that? But well, all you need to do is get that chick can open the hell on somebody yeah. and twist it yeah. and let it go around. Hell on. Yeah. That's what wisdom would do. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. He says, Now, Pharaoh said it to him, and Pharaoh said to Joe, For as much as God, listen, even Pharaoh got sense enough. He says, Now, for as much as God has showed thee, mm -hmm. hello, all right. even the unsaved. Uh -huh. Know when God is at work. Oh, yeah. Because he right. says, for as much as God has showed thee, there is none so discreet. Hello, somebody. Yes. And wise. Right. Nobody. I got a lot of folks that's on the payroll that don't have much sense as you do. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Let me tell you something. You can have all them degrees, but let me tell you something about them old folks. They didn't have no college degree. Uh -huh. They had no education. They worked in the field. Yeah. But them people was as smart as anybody that went yeah. to the university. Amen. Amen. So Amen. guess what? They had, co they had common sense. Yeah, yeah. Huh? So he said, because of your discretion, because of, he said, you shall be over what? My house. Amen. Now, you don't just put anybody over your house. What's up? Yeah. Huh? Amen. Look what he said. He said, you're going to be over my house, right? Yeah. And the only person who will have more authority and power than you is me. Amen. Amen. See how God worked that thing out? Now, Joseph could have been mad. I'm going to close this thing up. Yeah. He could have been mad. That's what he could have been upset because he had been done wrong. Yeah. He could have said, well, when I finally get to the top, I'm going to get even with everybody. Yeah. Over yeah. All right. right. Okay. He said, everybody that done the wrong, Clarence, Brother Harmon, I'm going to get him because now I got the power. Yeah. You know, yeah. power, yeah. power messed some of us up. Oh, yeah. 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 Some folks can't handle no power. Amen. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Brother Delmo, you know, we had that, what, what we call a 204B program. Some of them don't know what that is. The post office, you, you know, you could come in one day and be that one day and get in the 204B program, which is the manager program, and be supervised. All right. And I used to have to, I hate to say it, but I used to have to tell some of the talk with me, I got more time in the toilet than you do uh, working on the job. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got All more right. time in the bathroom All than right. you in here, right? Bye. Hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. some folks that power go to their head. Yeah. 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 Amen. 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 Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, what, what my experience was, I don't know, most of the folks that I knew that were two of them, they were sorry. Oh, right. But when they got to be manager, they were superhuman beings. Yeah. Right. And when they were in the crowd, they didn't do nothing. But yeah. now they're in the supervisor, they want you to move in. They want you to be moving the whole time. They want you talking. They're the biggest talkers when they was in the, hello somebody. <laughs> Stayed in the bathroom all the time. Always on break. Yeah. Right. Now that they supervise, they're watching your breaks. Yeah. If they know your break, we all used to take breaks together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We took the 30 minute breaks instead of the 15 minute break. Come on somebody. All right. Yeah. See, power corrupts yeah, if right. you allow it to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he could have been bitter, but guess what? He chose not to be because he wanted God to use him. All right. Amen. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm going to promote you. I'm going to promote you. And let's, let's read the rest of it. So he's standing on the top. The next thing, forgetful fruitfulness. It says, and, he, and Joseph uh, were born two sons while he's in captivity, while he... He's being elevated. The Bible said he had two sons before the year of famine. He called one of them Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, the priest, on the, on the barrel unto him. And Joseph called his name Manasseh. Manasseh. Names are important. I don't know about this generation today. I, these names, these kids got. Mamas can't spell them. They can't spell them. Uh, I don't know. Renico Rairo Ray Ray. <laughs> I don't know about these names. But it used to be the names have a meaning. All right. we, we, would, we would assign names, we would name our children because of their personality. And so he, he named himself for God. He says, now, I'm going to name my first son Manasseh for God says he had made me to forget. Mm -hmm. huh? Right? 
all, all of the, my, my past, all the things that happened to me that I should have been bitter about, I'm going to name my son so every time I look at him, it is a constant reminder to forget about the bad thing that happened to me. Let me tell y'all something right now, right here before I sit down. You got to learn how to forget some things. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Mind. Because what's happening is, a lot of us are not moving forward. A lot of us are not accelerating yeah, to the rate of speed it. and going to the places that God wants us to go because we're holding on to the past. Uh -huh. Now, when you hold on to the past, hello, somebody, the past hold on to you. Why yeah. can't you sit yeah. You can't really go in the way. But yeah. when you let go, hello, somebody, yeah, when good. you let go of whatever you've that's been through, you can move forward, right? Yeah. So he said, every time I think about my first boy, Manasseh, I'm going to be reminded of how God allowed me to forget. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All we right. sit up in church still mad at folks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, y'all ain't going to say that. We sit up, we sit up, we sit up in the house. Watch this. We are so daring and so brazen. And we'll sit up in God's house and sitting next to somebody we mad at. And we think we're hurting them. You will not hurt them. Amen. The damage is being done to you. Amen. You're damaging yourself. You, yes. you, you're just yes. like a Sunday school commentary. You're not letting God make you be usable. Amen. You can't be yeah. usable. Yeah. Yeah. Mad and bitter yeah. and That's envious it. and jealous right. and jealous right. and all that. You can't, God can't use you. You right. too way down. Amen. You gotta let go of that stuff. Right. Yeah, Bob did you wrong. He did you wrong, you're right. I'm in with you. He okay. did you wrong. But God saw it. Mm -hmm. All right. God know it. Yes. God will fix it. Yes. You go and watch your bed. Let Amen. God fix it. Amen. Amen. He said, because you've been so he said, he said, my son's gonna remind me. And Joseph called the name of his first one, for God said he had made him forget her. And the name of the second was called Ephraim. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. For God had caused me to be what? Fruitful. 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 Right? Mm -hmm. See, when the Lord is all your steps, right? Then you ought to be what? Fruitful. Fruitful. Mm -hmm. There ought to be some production. There ought to be some evidence, right? Mm -hmm. Come on, y'all. Yeah. And God has given you faith. Yeah. And God has made you wise. Yeah. And God has given you a gift. Yeah. And God has elevated you, right? Yeah. And God has put you in places where you shouldn't be. Yeah. And God has given you authority that you shouldn't have. Yeah. And God has given you a form that nobody else can give you. Then you ought to have some what? Fruit. Amen. Right? That's right? If you're still on the level that you went on 20 years ago or 10 days ago, there's something wrong. All right. Because you ought to be growing. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen, Amen. Pastor. Amen. 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 Okay, I'm old enough. And, 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 and the name of son, for God has called me to be what? Fruitful. Fruitful. Mm -hmm. These children were born to Joseph before the years of the predictive, which symbolized economic prosperity. Mm -hmm. The names of these two sons represent the mindset. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Uh -huh. The mind. Somebody said the mind. Mindset. Mindset. The mindset. Mm -hmm. Got to have the right mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have the right mind, you'll yeah. have the right approach. Mm -hmm. And when you have the right approach, you'll have the right results. Yeah. Yeah. When you have the right result, you'll get the glory to God. Amen. Oh, I just went through a series. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. If you have yeah. the right mindset, That's right. Also right. it starts here in the mind. All right. I got to sit down, y'all. So, so it said here in this lesson, the name of his second son, Ephraim, to bear fruit was further evident for, for Joseph that he, though he was forced to live in a land of affliction, God worked that thing out for him. Amen. All right. What, 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 is, what, is the, what is the summation of all this? If you are a child of God, yes. who've had some bad experiences, yes. who've been done wrong yes. by family members, mm -hmm. church members, mm -hmm. co-workers, mm -hmm. huh? sorority mm -hmm. members, yes. you got to let it go. Amen. Amen. Come on, let, let, it let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. There you go. So that you can move forward. So now I'm I'm going my seat. Now which 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 here's the question as I go to my seat. Which one are you gonna choose? All right. Which which, uh, which 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 I'm going to my seat. Which which is your choice? Because it's up to you. Love. Amen. Would you rather love? Mm -hmm. Or would you rather be better? Yeah. All right. Love. Which Amen. one do you want to be? I mean it's up love. to you. Love. 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 Some of y'all say love is still walking around here. Yeah. 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 Y
That's what you say out of your mouth, but your actions don't speak to the fact that you're in love. Because you don't, you, you, you know, you know, you know, man, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to go about seeing really. People, people don't have to say nothing. Sometimes the expression on something. Amen. 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 I've had people that didn't like me, they didn't say a word. They just looked at me a certain way. <laughs> I tell you my choice. Somebody said, well, you ask them, I choose to be loving. Yeah. yeah, I've had some bad experiences. But I tell you what, I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't had all the bad experiences. All right. All right. All right. See, my bad experiences, even though I was down and out, led to where I am up and abroad now. So all of my bad things, I'm going to my seat. I weighed my, come on, somebody, all my good days, watch this, I weighed my bad days. And guess what? He said he won't complain, but I'm going to insert, I won't be bitter, but I'll be loving. God bless y'all. God keep y'all. Thank y'all for tolerating me this morning. I know in this format, Sister Davis and Brother Clarence Holman can do a better job because this really not my, this is not really my form right here, y'all. This is really not my form. I'm kind of out of my element in this. Hello, somebody. All right. Thank y'all for y'all tolerance. I hope that I explained this lesson in a sufficient way. God bless you. God keep you down. Let's get back to the